Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will we'll be having discussion on important multiple choice questions for competitive examination. The first question is, among various machines, the maximum efficiency is given by. First option is induction motor, then transformer, then synchronous motor and DC series motor. The right answer is transformer, option number B. That is the right answer. Why? Because compared to other devices, transformer is stationary. There is no rotating part for the transformer. So that it shows higher efficiency. If you look at induction motor, synchronous motor, DC series motor, those motors are having rotating parts. So it is not a uh, those devices are not a stationary device except transformer. So transformer shows higher efficiency. Alright. From this question, you can generate multiple questions. For example, induction motor. So you can expect one question like this. One device is known as rotating transformer. The rotating transformer we can call induction motor. It's the same principle as that of transformer, but it is having rotational part, stator as well as rotor. It is actually obeying uh, Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. Then one more question. One motor is known as variable speed motor that you can point out DC series motor. Alright. One more question I can generate. One motor that is known as constant speed motor. Among this, which is constant speed motor? Synchronous motor. Alright. So this is a, these are the multiple questions you can generate from a single question. All right. So right answer for this question uh, for this question is right answer for this question is transformer. Moving on to next question, when the load on transformer increases its power factor, we are having four options: decreases, reduces to zero, option number C increases, and option number D remains same. Which is the right answer? See, transformer is basically one of the inductive device, inductive load basically. Okay, generally speaking, inductive load. In that inductive load, what is the peculiarity of inductive load? Voltage will be leading uh, by the current. Compared to current, voltage is actually leading. Is it not? So, at the no-load condition, at the no-load condition, definitely there will be a phase difference between voltage and current. There will be phase difference. Phi. Phi will be high. Okay, during uh, no-load condition. Whenever load is applying at the secondary side, what is going to happen? Whenever load is applying on the secondary side, the difference between phase angle between voltage and current that is getting reduced. The phase angle between voltage and, and current that is getting reduced. Whenever the phase angle difference between voltage and current is reducing, that means, what about cos phi? What about cos phi? If the phi is actually reducing, we can say that cos phi is getting improved. Cos phi is getting increased. What is cos phi? Cos phi means cos phi is nothing but it's a power factor. Whenever the phase angle difference is reducing, automatically power factor cos phi is getting increased. So that what we can, which one we can opt among these options, which is the right answer. Obviously, when the load of the transformer increases, its power factor will be absolutely increases. It's actually one of the repeated questions for SSC examination. Okay, you can take care of this. How? What is the reason means? So the phase angle difference that is getting reduced whenever load is applied on the secondary side. If the phase angle difference is reducing, as a result, the cos phi is getting increased. So, best answer is uh, power factor is getting improved. So, option number C is the right answer. Moving on to question number 3. Specific resistance of a conductor depends on option number A, conductor diameter, uh, conductor material, conductor length and a conductor radius. The best answer is the nature of the material. Specific resistance will be always depending on nature of the material. That is most important. Others factor also will be coming actually, you know. R equal to rho L by A. R equal to rho L divided by A. That is an equation for calculation of resistance. Resistance will be depending on length. It is inversely proportional to area of cross section. From this you can calculate the rho. Rho means the specific resistance. R A by L. So many things you can uh, specify. But in this question, the best answer is the conductor material. Specific resistance will be directly depending on uh, the nature or conduct, uh, the nature of the material. So that I can opt to option number B. You can expect one more question. What is the unit of specific resistance? Obviously, what is the unit? Unit of specific resistance will be ohm meter. Moving on to question number four. Double speed operation of three phase induction motor is possible by first option voltage control, second option current control, third option V by F control, and the last option is pole changing method. Double speed operation of induction motor is nothing but it is mainly used for variable speed application. You can change the pole repeatedly and changing the speed that is a method that is known as double speed operation of induction motor that means this method is mainly dealing with the changing of poles and varying the speed 
So the best answer is pole changing technique. It's basically a pole changing method. Okay. Moving on to next question. A synchronous motors are provided with a damper winding for dash. First option is reducing losses. Second option low power consumption. Third option starting the motor. And the fourth option is reducing magnetic arm. These are the four options. You know, synchronous motor is a non-self-starting non device. It is not a self-starting device. How does synchronous motor operate? The rotor and stator should be magnetically locked. It should be magnetically locked. Then only it moves to synchronous speed. Initially, we require external DC supply for the rotor. Or else, you require the damper winding. You need mainly for damper winding. Damper winding is mainly for the starting of synchronous motor. Without uh, ex external devices, synchronous motor will not operate. Okay, it will not move on to synchronous speed. Otherwise, it will work just like a induction motor. Okay, initially it will act as induction motor. Later, uh, the whenever the magnetic locking between rotor and stator taken place, it become it moves on synchronous speed. So, coming on, moving on to the question: A synchronous motors are provided to, with provided with a damper winding uh, that is for starting the motor. That is the best answer. See, starting damper winding with starting purpose. Moving on to next question, the safe current of a fuse wire is independent of the following factor, area of cross section, length, resistivity and diameter. Which one is the best answer? I can directly say that the length. The safe current of a fuse wire is independent of the following factor. Which one is the best answer? Uh, the length is the best answer. Let's move on to question number 7. A synchronous motor running at over excited condition gives dash. Leading, leading power factor, lagging power factor, zero power factor, UPF. You know, over excited synchronous motor that is mainly used for power factor improvement. So it is definitely, it is actually for leading power factor. See, over excited synchronous motor. It is mainly used for power factor improvement. So best answer is option number A, leading power factor. Next question, the generated voltage of isolated alternator is dash. Armature current, then excitation, input to the prime mover, load resistance. So, read out the question once again. The generated voltage of isolated alternator is mainly depending on mainly depending on the field current. That means excitation. So, you can go for option number B. Moving on to question number 9. The wattmeter reading of open circuit test in transformer gives. Open circuit test is mainly applicable for primary winding. Secondary winding will kept as open. Is it not? The main purpose of conducting open circuit test is to evaluate the total core loss or iron loss which is happening in the transformer that you can evaluate, predetermine, that you can predetermine. Core loss or iron loss can be predetermined with the help of open circuit test. Regarding short circuit test, if it is short circuit test, we can predetermine uh, the copper loss. Here, the right answer is option number D, core loss. Moving on to question number 10. Weather proof cable is used for service connection, industrial wiring, domestic wiring and go down wiring. Service connection is nothing but uh, the connection between end of utility, utility main and beginning of customer side. That is actually service main. The service connection should be weather proof. Service connection should be weather proof. So best answer is option number A. Thanks for watching this video. Please share and don't forget to subscribe.